Just look at the way Yanni is gazing upon the home pods. He can't decide it, Minnie. Oh yes, nature finds a way. Or the Maxi. Oh dude, Yanni, don't get your mustache bugs all over it. Home pod original, AKA here with home pod Maxi versus two of the home pod minis. Is this the comparison that you seek? The magnificent home pod Maxi versus the not to be underestimated, two HomePod minis. Two of these are $200 total. One of these routinely goes on sale for $200 at least twice a month. So these really are kind of the same price. Which ones should you spend your money on? These guys right here or the big boy right here? That's the question that we're gonna answer in mere moments. So go ahead, slip your AirPods Max on right now. We're gonna start with a test of the HomePod minis. Then we're moving to the Maxi. And if you stay tuned to the end, <laughs> My doctors and my stuntmen told me not even to attempt this, but I'm gonna pump audio through all three, which I'm not even sure is legal in this state. Here we go, I'm booting up the Mozart of our time, the PhD of pain, Dr. Disrespect. Let the games begin. <laughs> When you put them in a stereo pair, they really do sound delightful. But I'm gonna hold my feedback for later in the video. Let's go ahead, let's pump the same audio through the Maxi and let's see how it performs. goodness I just had a special moment I hope you did too now we're not done there let's go ahead and boot up a nice romantic song of course from Dr. Disrespect let's send it through the minis see how that sounds and then let's pump it through the maxi let's see how that sounds let the audio tense commence tense is just a word I made up let's just keep moving I also know there's like five or six guys in this lobby desperate for just a hint of love little minis they sing right. like little songbirds you put two of these together they have that beautiful highlight roll off they got the supported mids let's go ahead let's get this song pumped through the maxi and let's see what this angel can do kind of like that probably tell from my face who the winner is. Now look, these minis, they sound beautiful. I really do love them. In some ways I prefer the sound coming out of these to the sound coming out of the original HomePod because these have a nicer roll off on some of the higher end notes. This can sound a little shrill sometimes, although for the most part, I think this delivers a beautiful performance on the high end too. But here's where there's a big difference between these two sets of speakers. Even in a stereo pair, these two minis just don't have the atomic mass that this thing has. The HomePod, even now, it delivers a shocking level of low end. I call it the gurgle, the gurg for short. 
This thing is able to deliver the deep rumble from the music, from your content in a way that these simply just cannot accomplish. I would say as far as mids and highs go, these are on par with this performance wise. Now they definitely don't get as loud. The HomePod, I think even by itself, is far louder than both of these in a stereo pair. I never have to churn the HomePod up past three or four clicks in my living room, maybe five or six to fill the whole space. These, you really have to crank to build that envelope of power so that you feel like you're enveloped in the music. The HomePod also just has that really nice under-supported bass, that undergirding that's gonna give you that deep warmth, that deep presence, that magnificence in your content that these just can't really give you because they don't have the low end there to support the music they're laying on you. But here's the thing, this is kind of large and it's directional. So if you have this on your desk, it's gonna sound like the music is coming from your HomePod. Or if you have this next to your TV, it's gonna sound like it's coming from over there. These two in a stereo pair, they build the envelope of power. So the music, the musicality, it sounds like it's coming from in front of you, from all around you. And so you get a much more omnidirectional experience with these, whereas this, it's much more over there. The music is happening over there with just one, that is. And with two of the HomePod minis, it's coming from all around you. I think these are perfectly suited for a desk or a small room. You really don't need something this powerful for a smaller space. And especially for a desk, I have these on my desk. I like how small they are. They don't take up a ton of room on my desk, which I like. I used to have two of these, but these are a much better fit. And if you turn these up, they do a great job of filling the whole space with music and I never feel like I'm missing anything when I don't have the HomePod around. Now let's talk about home theater equipment here because that's a completely different conversation than listening to music. I'm not going to bury the lead here. My personal preference is definitely for two HomePods next to my Apple TV. The HomePods, they've got the gurg and they deliver that deep bass, that presence of those bass notes that exist in all your content, but you oftentimes won't hear because your speakers aren't talented enough to deliver it to you. And the deep rumble that moves around your screen in the content, it will move that sound all around your room if your content supports Dolby Atmos because Dolby Atmos allows for dynamic sound movement so things can sound like they're moving across you and even behind you in some of your content. Okay, so here's the thing. If you have your TV mounted to the wall, then I think I would probably go with one HomePod simply because it supports surround sound, it supports Atmos, and it gets much louder. It has the deep gurg, as I mentioned previously. But you need the HomePod to be centered underneath your TV. Otherwise, in my test, it just sounds weird because your HomePod is off over there to the left or to the right of your TV, and it just sounds like it's misplaced audio. So really, you need to be directly underneath and in the middle of your TV if your TV isn't mounted on the wall, you're probably not gonna have space for this in front of your TV because it's gonna be blocking your picture. In those cases, I think I really would go with the HomePod minis, especially if you're in a smaller room because if you churn these up, they deliver probably 80% of the same sound experience. You get all the wonderful audio context, the nuance, you hear crunching of feet in snow, the effects of a lightsaber, the sound of the phaser blasting past you. You get all that with these and they sound textured and they deliver a whole level of audio that you're probably not experiencing. They just don't have the gurg. You don't get the deep rumbling gurg like you do with the HomePod. But other than that, they deliver a beautiful stereo experience because these don't support surround sound in any way. It's stereo only. But the other drawback is, is anytime you wanna to listen to these in your content, you have to connect them manually, whereas the original HomePod can be set as the default speaker. So every time you use your Apple TV 4K, the sound immediately goes out through the HomePod, whereas with the minis, you have to go in there and you have to change it to the minis every time, which is honestly kind of annoying. I feel like I'm underselling the minis. I'm not trying to. The HomePod is just so good. It definitely outshines these, and it should. It's bigger, it's more expensive. It's literally twice the price as one of these, but these do a beautiful job. I'm so happy with the minis. I have these on my desk. I had these in front of my TV for about two weeks, and I was thoroughly happy with them. I was watching all the Mandalorian coming through these two speakers, and I was truly surprised at the dynamic sounds that were coming through the minis, stuff that I had never heard before. These were delivering really well. They just don't have the rumble and they don't have the surround sound support, which some of you won't care about, but it really is more immersive when you have the surround sound. All these speakers are great. And I think you'll honestly be happy with two of these 
for the big guy right here. But I have to say, this HomePod, this original HomePod, Apple just keeps making it better. And even today, I am surprised at the amount of nuance, the amount of bass that is pouring out of the HomePod. You put two of these in a stereo pair, if you can afford the 400 bucks when they go on sale for two of these, I think these are the way to go. You get the best of all worlds. You get the deep gurg, you get the Atmos, you get the expanded audio range. These things are truly surprising. They're one of the best products that Apple's ever made. Clearly, you know that I love the HomePods. I've done a ton of videos on all of these guys, but for me, after all my tests, HomePod original is the way to go. But there are definitely some great scenarios where the HomePod minis are gonna be a better fit or an appropriate fit, and you'll be really happy with them. Now, I know you're thinking, Big Papa Earth, may I call you Papa? You sure can. How do these sound when you're pouring the audio in all at the same time? Well, that's what we're gonna test right now. Now, look, I told you to put your earphones on earlier. I can't be liable for what's gonna happen, so I think that you should go ahead and take those off, turn the volume up halfway on your computer, and just stand back, and let's see what happens when you pour the audio into all three home pods at the same time. Hold on now, safety first. Where am I? What happened? What day is it?